Okay, so now that we have our box, the square little box here, the last thing we're doing before the, the sanding and finishing is to cut out a, a small circle in the middle. Okay, so first thing you need to do, same thing, draw the line from corner to corner. So this one is tightly fit. I'll take it back out. So I'm going to draw from corner to corner. Okay, I'm going to do that on both sides. Since I'm going to be cutting a mortise, Step, just grab a compass. So, how big should we make it? How about 50? So, I'm going to make the hole 50 millimeter wide. bit too small. I'm going to draw a couple of circles and see which one looks nice. And since I'm going to be using this um, coping saw, I also need to make sure there's enough space, uh, enough width in this saw. So I have to sort of adjust it based on that. 50 looks pretty good. I'm going to tr draw um, 60. Wait, hold up. Let's sort of 50 over here first. And now we'll draw 60. Sixty. Maybe I should stick to fifty. Huh. I think I'm going to stick to uh, 50. But before I do that, I'm just going to make sure the, there's enough width in this blade, in this scoping saw. So 50. Yeah, 50 should be fine. So I'm going to go with 50, which is the inner circle. So I'm going to be cutting a mortise. Uh, but if you have a drill, you can just drill a hole through. And then you can slide the blade in and then start cutting the circle. But I'm going to do it the, the hard way, which is the mortising. Okay. I'm going to start cutting a mortise. Okay, so right now I'm trying to cut a mortise here. Just, just using a very small chisel. Just use the smallest one. I'm going to start at this corner and I'm going to have to go from both sides. Uh, since it's a very thick piece of material here. Right on the edge, chisel. Um, and of course it's going to be a square mortise. To start with the square shape. And then lift it out using the the bevel side of the chisel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a mortise to about halfway from here and then do the same thing from the other side. It seems like I might need to expand the, the mortise a little bit so that my chisel has a bit more room to move. Just trying to dig a deeper and deeper mortise with each cut. So 
as you can see I'm making this little mortise here actually you don't even need a, a, a coping saw you can just use this technique to cut the what do you call that um, to cut a slot all the way around and uh, repeat the same process and uh, you know if you don't have a coping saw that is but I'm going to use a coping saw uh, because I want to show you the proper way of doing it so now I'm going to start the other side same thing same location cut that little rectangle here So what I'm looking for is, is a hole through, and um, I think I'm getting closer, <laughs> can't really tell. Let's see, oh there it is. So the chisel went through, and you can actually see the light coming through the hole. And uh, we're just going to widen it a little bit, and then I'm going to slide the, the saw in. And we're going to start cutting that circle. Okay, so for this to work, I need to first take out the blade. I need to install the blade here first. So this might be like the trickiest part about this. So now I hook the blade like this. And I just have to tighten the blade now. And start cutting. And I'm going to start cutting. Oh my god. There you go. This is hard. I would say this is the hardest part about this project. Okay, so as you can see, this little piece has come out, which is great. So now we are going to make sure this hole is straight and round. And uh, I think I'll add a chamfer at the top just to give it that nice uh, flow look to it okay whoa so if you look at this bottom side you'll see the um, the, the cut didn't really reach the, the the line that we wanted to go to so that means there's a taper so we got to get rid of that taper first so what you're gonna do is just chisel right up to the line to my flat chisel with the bevel sight facing down it's okay not to be perfect since it's all hand cut but we can we can try to get it as nice as we can as round to the shape that we want it to go it just takes a little bit more work Again, when you're doing this, just be careful of your fingers. Don't overshoot and cut yourself. Okay. So now let's get rid of the middle section. Back to that small chisel. Chop from the bottom down, following that taper. do the same thing from the top keep the chisel straight looks a little bit cleaner now 
I think it just needs a little bit more cleanup in the middle. So if you look closely, you'll see a ridge right along the middle. And uh, once we're done chiseling that away, we are basically done. Okay, so now that I've straightened out the walls, last thing I'm going to do before sanding is to add a little chamfer at the top. And then I'm going to put the, the lid back on and chamfer um, the edges with the plane. And um, then we're going to proceed to sanding, okay? So, how do we do the chamfer? Same thing, just use the bevel side of the chisel. I might move the chamfer all the way to the back here, uh, all the way to the 60 millimeter line that I drew out. So I need to decide how deep the chamfer goes. Probably just, okay, let's go. So this one's more for like an aesthetic. So I'm hoping that by adding this chamfer, it will look nicer. Fingers crossed. Okay, now I've chamfered the top to, to the circle. Uh, now I'm gonna bring everything down to the line on the inside. Okay. There's a, a chamfer. So it doesn't look very nice right now, but I think after sanding, it might, I think it will look pretty good after sanding. We'll see. I'm gonna start with the 80 grit sandpaper for this. I'm gonna start with 80. I'm going to sand the inside here. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to 120, which is right here. Nope. So 120, sand the whole thing. Make sure you sand with the grain when you're sanding. And sand the same spot on the inside here. Now do the flip side. I'm going to be sending all the boxes, uh, the entire thing to 400, but before I move on, I'm just going to send the, the entire box real quick. I'm not going to take it out. I'm not going to take out the box when I'm sending, because then I'll have to put it back in, so. Just a very quick run over with 80. So this is also the best stage to, to glue it up if you're intending to glue it uh, because you can use these little sawdust as like a, a wood filler when you glue the, the joints in. Since I'm going to keep the entire thing as uh, separate, I'm not going to worry about that. 120. This is 120. Okay. So now I'm going to put the lid on. Um, <laughs> so 
So since it's a wedge fit, right, you will notice the, the lid pushing the, the pins out, especially at the top. So this gap here and here does not mean that the joint is loose. It's simply because the, the lid is pushing the, the joint out to kind of like hold it together in place. Okay, so now that I have the whole thing in my hand, I can sort of feel like it's a bit too hard on certain parts. So I'm just gonna add a, a very slight chamfer with the plane, okay. Probably like three passes. here. So back to sanding with uh, 124 for the chamfer. So now it's all about finishing so it kind of comes down to how nice you want the box to look. So if you want it to look flawless you gotta spend a bit more time sanding. Okay, so we're gonna be sanding the entire box with 400, and then we should be done. Uh, so, <clears throat> we're gonna apply a, a coat of uh, lacquer for finishing. Right after you sand it with 400, it's going to be really, really smooth. Done. So when it comes to finishing, I'm just gonna give it a, a coat of uh, lacquer. You can use any kind of uh, wood finishing that you have at home or something that you can buy it off the shelf at a hardware store. Seems like I might need to put on two coats because uh, it doesn't look very even. There's some spots that are still uh, a little dusty. So I'm just gonna wait for about two to three minutes and I'll apply another coat and then call it a day. Alright guys, that's basically it for this project. Um, as you can see, it's a very simple uh, dovetail joinery box. So you can either make it, turn it into a toolbox, tissue box, pencil box, doesn't really matter. So you can just grab any, uh, grab any scraps that you have or you can order from us. And um, yeah, it's a simple two-day project. You can actually squeeze it into one day if you don't have to do the rabbiting and uh, the cutting out the holes but yeah basically that's 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 it um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do leave a like and subscribe and hope to see you guys in the future videos peace